Hello dear friends, this is Dr. Diptesh Patel and I will be teaching you advanced internal combustion engine. In uh, today's video session, we are going to see a chapter called recent development in IC engine in which we are going to see the different new innovations that is coming through in the uh, IC engine and uh, how does those innovation affecting the conventional engine and our uh, everyday life. So, particular for this video session, we are going to see a couple of different types of the engine. First one is a lean burn engine and the second one is hybrid engine. So, let us start with the lean burn engine. What is a lean burn engine? Like basically, no, uh, the in conventional IC engine, fuel burns at the mixture of approximately 14 to 17 gem 1 air fuel ratio. But lean burn engine is a kind of one which is ignited which burns which consume a very less amount of fuels and the mixture is very lean and it can go up to as low as 32 gem 1. So like how does that work? Basically in lean burn engine the air fuel mixture is mixed before it enter into the combustion chamber with these special modifications right and we use a special kind of the modification such as the turbocharger to mix the air fuel before it enters into the combustion chamber so basically natural uh, or conventional ic engine we knows that that air fuel mixture is enters inside the engine and the spark plug would start the combustion but in lean burn engine the overall combustion process is improved by pre-mixing the air fuel mixture effectively with the turbocharger before it enters into the engine, before it enters into the cylinder or combustion chamber. So, the mixture would be a more homogeneous inside the combustion chamber because we have definitely used the proper amount of the swirls, special swirl control valves to mix the air fuel mixture before it enter into the combustion chamber and therefore the tendency of knocking and de detonation would be reduces. Furthermore, the air fuel mixture is constantly managed, uh, monitored with the help of the special equipments that make sure that the fuel would be, air fuel mixture would be very lean as compared to the conventional IC engine. Now here we are going to see a diagram, like how does this work of the lean burn engine. As you can see, the at intake manifold, air is taken from the atmosphere through the filter, when it enter into the manifold, the fuel is injected into the intake manifold. Now here, the proper amount of the swirls are created to mix the air fuel uh, properly before it enters into the engine. We know that when uh, fuel is injected into the air, it is atomized first and then it gets vaporized to have the proper mixture. So here that would be done before it enter into the combustion chamber, into the intake manifold and the swirl, it means kind of turbulence would be created into the intake manifold which would uh, does the homogeneous mixture uh, of the air and fuels. So you can see that the injectors is attached into the intake manifold where air fuel mixture could be created and then after the swirl control valves is installed which control the swirls of the air fuel mixture and afterward it enter into the combustion chamber through the intake valve. So this is how the lean burn engine. Lean burn engine mixes the air fuels in such a way that the the combustion would have proper amount of the oxygen, adequate amount of the oxygen and therefore the overall emissions would also be reduced. However, there is a one problem, one demerits of the lean burn engine is that the emission of NOx is enhanced because the combustion temperature is very high. 
and therefore we required the special amount of the uh, complex catalytic converter to reduce the NOx emissions. So this is only a drawback of the lean burn engine in which the NOx emission is higher as compared to the conventional engine. However, the others emissions such as HC, particulates, matter, smoke, smog, and CO are reduced greatly as compared to the traditional IC engine. Now let's go through the advantages and disadvantages of the lean burn engine. So first thing is advantages. Now combustion process is more efficient because we know that the in, in lean mixture there is a higher amount of greater amount of the air available for the combustion that means it would have the excess availability of the oxygens and therefore the combustion would be close to complete. Then it produces more power from the same amount of fuels. So it saves the fuel consumption, it, it reduces the fuel consumptions. And lean burn engine can operate on the wide range of the fuels, wide range of the fuels. So this is also advantages of the lean burn engine. Now let us go through the disadvantages. As I said earlier, the NOx emission is very high in lean burn engine and therefore required the complex catalytic converter to control the NOx emission. So yeah, this is all about the lean burn engine. Now next topic is a hybrid engine. Now we have heard this word so many times because hy hybrid engines are becoming a more and more popular nowadays. Since we know that the fuel price has gone up, also the government and authority concern is a environmental pollution. As you can see, like the many of our uh, mega cities are into the high risk of the air quality because their air quality is very very poor and therefore governments, authorities and even people those who are aware about it are taking a special care to reduce the emissions from the automobile because automobile is a major part of the emissions that is being uh, emitted into the atmospheres and their percentage is about, about 20 to 30 percent. So it's it's a it's a greater extent of the emission that is coming out from the automobile vehicles, and therefore peoples are trying to find the alternative alternative waves. Even authority is trying to authorize the new trends of the vehicles, which is reducing the emissions. And hybrid one hybrid emission is one of them. Okay, so hybrid is a kind of engine which can operate on two different power sources that could be either manual or petrol that could be either petrol electric that could be either diesel electric or even hybrid electric so any engine that can be operated with the two or more source of power it is known as the hybrid engine nowadays many car manufacturer industries have come up with the different range of the hybrid engines which would giving uh, which would gives the good amount of efficiency and their emission is also lower so peoples are attracted toward it the only problems that people facing at the moment is a higher initial cost because in hybrid engine we have the different types of the arrangement we require the high amount to be uh, for the manufacturing of the vehicles and therefore their capital cost is a high we are going to see what are the different components into the hybrid engine and how does that affects our life say so, let's go through the hybrid engine now we know that hybrid engine can run on the two different source of power that uh, could be different range different range of the power sources so like let's consider the gasoline engine hybrid gasoline engine in which uh, it runs on electric motor and the engine so basically the main components are the engine then generator then uh, rechargeable battery and the power shifter okay so basically these are the major component of the hybrid engine the battery would provide the power in certain situations to the vehicle while during the uh, cruising or during the time 
like such as the initial pickup time when the engine required the larger amount so sorry the vehicle required the larger amount of power then at that time engine will provide the power battery also get uh, charged during the decelerations and braking of the vehicles so that is that is been done with the help of alternator in which the kinetic energy of the vehicles like especially when we are uh, decelerating or braking the vehicle we do not require the momentum that vehicle have we are trying to reduce that momentum so that kinetic energy that momentum would be converted into the electric energy because it's a waste that is that is coming uh, going through the waste and in fact it would in, in, improve the braking efficiency of the vehicles so the the rechargeable battery can can also be charged during the deceleration and braking of the vehicles now these batteries would help efficiently to reduce the consumptions of the fossil fuel and the emissions which is uh, emitted into the atmosphere so basically as you can see the vehicle is like in certain cases it operates with the help of the ic engine while in certain cases it operates on the battery uh, let me give you an example for example if vehicle is stopping on the electric signal then at that time engine would get turned off while the green light occurs vehicle would start moving with the help of electric power and then after engine would provide the additional power especially during the pickup so overall the fuel that get wasted while it is in ideal situations in the engine can be reduced here so like the fuel mileage is greatly improved in hybrid engine now you can see the diagram of the hybrid engine which is uh, having the major component such as the electric motor generator battery ic engine and power split device so as you can see battery is connected through the electric motor and that provides the power to the front wheel drive uh, front wheel if it is a front wheel drive similarly ic engine is also connected with the uh, power split devices into the common shaft so as you can see generator ic engine electric motor and power split device is connected into the common shaft now generator would recharge the battery especially during the deceleration and braking so as you can see two different line that is uh, connected with the battery one with the generator another with the electric motor so generator would recharge the battery while electric motor will consume the power from the battery ic engine would provide the power as well which is connected into the common shaft while power split device is split the power right it takes power either from the ic engine or the electric motor depends on the driving conditions so power split device would split the power and that would uh, deliver these power to the front wheel so this is how the hybrid hybrid engine looks like this is a schematic diagram of the hybrid engines now let's go through the advantages of the hybrid engine the first advantage is that it saves the great amount of fuels because of the assistance from the battery so uh, the overall fuel consumption <coughs> can greatly reduce second less emission as you can see the fuel consumption is reduced the emission is also reduced and then uh, the overall emission is uh, greatly uh, greatly in a smaller quantity as compared to the conventional ic engine and these battery do not need to recharge at every instant it can get recharged by itself especially during the decelerations especially when the vehicle is slowing down all the momentum all the kinetic energy that vehicle would have that can be converted into the electric energy and that energy is stored into the battery so it does not need to charge at every extent right it also get charged with the help of deceleration and braking now these are the disadvantages of the hybrid engine and the first disadvantage is a high initial cost the cost of the lithium battery is very high at the moment so therefore 
the overall capital cost of the vehicle would be high even it required the generator and power split device and the battery and the special connections special uh, equipments uh, in between uh, which connects the uh, all uh, equipments and it one more thing it requires is a it's a electric motor so therefore the number of components is higher as compared to the conventional engine and therefore its initial cost is high and the second one higher weight as you can see the number of components are higher it weight would also increased so uh, these are the disadvantages of the hybrid engine especially uh, considering the battery because the batteries are very expensive and it need to be uh, replaced it need to be recharged at uh, frequently so therefore the cost of the battery is also going high as well so these these are the disadvantages of the hybrid engines this is end of this video session if you have any doubt you can write down in the comment box thank you very much